हेलो व्हाट इज ईडीएम एंड सर्वे सो ईडीएम इज इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक डिवाइस मेजरमेंट व्हिच इज यूज्ड टू मेजर द डिस्टेंस सो इन दिस वीडियो विल स्टडी अबाउट ईडीएम टाइप्स ऑफ ईडीएम एंड बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑन व्हिच ईडीएम वर्क्स सो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिस्टेंस मेजरमेंट इज अ मेथड इन व्हिच ईडीएम इज यूज्ड टू मेजर द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू पॉइंट्स through electromagnetic energy waves like microwaves or it might be radio waves infrared waves or other similar waves edm is commonly carried out with digital instruments called theodolite so theodolite is an instrument used for measurement of horizontal as well as vertical angles as we have studied in triangulation networks so EDM is commonly an electronic theodolite okay and also an electronic distance measuring instrument that is EDM and a running software on an external computer such as it might be your laptop or a data collector EDM instruments are highly reliable and convenient and it can be used to measure distances up to 100 km to simplify the procedures in the field work and to obtain accuracy in surveying these electronic distance measuring method was introduced so here the distance is measured with the help of an edm and a reflector okay and electromagnetic waves such as microwaves infrared waves and other similar waves so the here the edm equipment and a reflector are necessary to carry out the waves emitted from the electronic distance measurement equipment reaches reaches the reflector in a uh, the reflector might be in the form of a prism and then return back to the edm equipment so then the distance is measured with the help of time taken for the above procedure so you all all know that distance is equal to velocity into time and here the velocity is considered as the speed of light so the advantage of using edm is speed and accuracy in measurement okay and several obstacles to chaining are automatically overcome when these instruments are used next edm is placed at the first point okay and the reflector is placed on the other end so in this function we have a forward path and a reflected path so the basic function is generation that is generating the waves from the instrument and then modulation takes place wherein wherein carrier wave and measuring signals are modulated together and the next transmission and its propagation takes place whereas a wave movement to the reflector and then reception takes place wherein waves are received and then again demodulation takes place wherein only measured signals are passed and then the distance is measured so as we discussed be measured is equal to velocity into time it is divided by 2 because here we have considered two path that is the forward path and the reflected path but we need to calculate only one path that is why it is divided by so edm equipment is classified on the basis of carrier wave used first one is microwave wherein microwave is used for long range instrument such as telerometer and next is visible light that is which is used for medium range instrument and the instrument is usually known as geodometer and next is infrared for shorter range instrument is known as distomat so electronic distance measurement is based on the principle that is pulse method the main component is that distance is equal to velocity into time so next one is phase difference method many of edm instrument uses this method so that is retro reflector it might be single or a multiple prisms used and then phase shift between the transmitted signal and the reflected signal is measured using which the time and distance are determined so errors in edm there are three types of errors in edm that is personal errors instrumental errors and natural errors 
so coming to personal error that is inaccuracy in the initial setup or the instrument and the reflector measurements going wrong or it might be also the atmospheric pressure and temperature determination errors which is uh, determined by the person that is called personal errors so next next is instrumental errors it might be calibration error changes of setting unstable frequent errors or errors shown by the reflector natural errors that is atmospheric variation in temperature pressure and humidity or multiple refraction of signals hello students these are the two mcq questions so please try answering it and then you all can drop the answers in the comment box Thank you.